Hey guys, so uh, I know it's been a few weeks now since I've done any reviews. I apologize for that. I just haven't had the time to go to the movies, and there really hasn't been anything that has interested me enough to get, to go out and go see. Um, I apologize for that. It's, it's one of those like this has been one of those. This has been a very rare year where I just haven't had the desire to go out to the movie theaters. I mean. When uh, May and April come, or April and May come around, like, the summer comes around, oh yeah, I'll be there every fucking week, <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's been, uh, it's not been, you know, there's nothing been something, there's not been much catching my eye to make me want to go see it. Um, but I decided, uh, yesterday to kind of start catching up on some movies. I'm also going to go, in the next three days, or today, or, uh, yeah. Uh, today I'm going to go see a movie and also tomorrow I'm going to see a couple. Um, but anyways, the movie I saw yesterday was McFarlane USA. Um, this is a movie that, honestly, I really did not care too much for, like, going in. Like, I, like it's another sports movie. Woohoo! I've seen them countless times. I mean, there's nothing new that they, this movie can do. Uh, it looked like every fucking sports movie I'd ever seen. It, uh, I was like, I didn't care. Like, I, I'm, I'm kind of getting over sports movies at this point. Uh, but I heard, I've been hearing some really good things about it. I, it was one of those movies that had been getting pretty well received since uh, a, a couple weeks it's been out. So I was like, alright, fuck it, well, I'll go see it. It was either that or The Duff, and I honestly don't want to fucking watch The Duff. Fucking goddamn Duff. Um... Anyways, uh, McFarland USA was pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie, it was. Even with my low expectations, I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, it's a sp cliched sports movie. I mean, it's predictable as shit, but it's still really good. I, 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 I'll admit when it's really good. <laughs> um, uh, Kevin Costner's fun in this movie. I thought he was pretty fun. Uh, he was pretty good. I, I like. I've never been the biggest Kevin Costner fan, and I, uh, and it's kind of weird that we keep seeing this renaissance of his career going on lately. Like he keeps popping up in a lot of fucking movies lately, over the last couple of years. And um, I mean, there's worse people to have a career renaissance. Kevin Costner, almost every time I see him in a movie, he's fine, except Super or Man of Steel. I fucking hated Man of Steel. I hated him in Man of Steel. Well, actually, it wasn't really him. It was the fucking character that was bad. Um, I, I didn't hate Man of Steel. Well, Man of Steel is one of those movies that... Uh, I'll go on that another fucking day. Uh, but anyways, that's a movie that... Just to say, that hasn't... Like, you watch it more than once, you start to see a lot of the fucking flaws in it. But anyways, that's another uh, rant for another time. Kevin Costner's pretty fun in this movie. Uh, he's pretty good. Um, he, he's you know, he he does really well. Uh, he's the the coach you know that you see in almost every goddamn sports movie. He pulls it off fine. Um, he uh, I do like that the movie opens with him. Uh, it opens with him throwing a shoe at a kid and getting fired. That's how he ends up in McFarland, USA. He's, he throws a shoe at a kid. He's, he's a football coach for, like, uh, in Iowa or something like that? Boise, Iowa. Yeah, I, Iowa. Boise, Iowa. Or, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, but he uh, he's a coach, football coach for that school, and he throws a shoe at a kid and gets fired. So he has to... McFarland, US, McFarland California is the only... Uh, place to actually hire him uh and of course he comes across these mexican kids and it is kind of funny it, it, the movie the funnier moments is like the fish out of the water moments with him uh and his family like this it's all a mexican american mexican uh neighborhood like a very spanish neighborhood and like it's like it is pretty funny like some of the stuff like um oh no it <laughs> i and some of his interactions with the the either the members of the team or people around the city are pretty funny. Um, kids are fine. I thought the acting from the kids are fine. Um, I mean, 
I mean, I, I, they they all have, they have they're all kind of distinct, or they all have their own characteristics. Even though if there are like really stereotypical sports movie characters that you've ever seen before, there's the kid whose dad doesn't approve. There's the fat kid. There's the I, there, there's all kind of fucking kids in these movies. I, there's all kind of stereotypes. But the thing that I like about this movie is that it's really well done. It's really well made. It's really well acted. That is the reason why it gets a pass. Because even though it has every cliche in the book, it is it gets a pass. I also do like... This is something I've never seen before. <laughs> this, I will say this. They have something I've never seen before. Uh, the school that they go to is, uh, like, right next to a prison. That's very weird. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I've never seen that before. If that, re- I don't know if that really was, like, what the school was, like, the real, is this is based on a true story. That is pretty funny. Like, a lot of the kids, a lot of these kids end up in that prison. Um, and it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, it's like, I've never seen that before. <laughs> like, it's like right next, like, when they're running track, like, they're running along the, the barbed wire fence. Like, they're running, like, next to the bar- barbed wire fence of the prison. That's pretty fucking funny. Um, never, never seen that before. Um, again, like I say, I mean, if, again, if it's, it's one of those movies I've not really much to talk about other than if, Again, if there's any complaints, again, it's predictable. You know what's gonna happen. Every fucking thing I could, I, I called it. Um, it, it. The one point, there's that one scene where uh, Kevin Costner lets his daughter go out with uh, a couple of the guys, and I, I said, well, every sports movie has some kind of disaster happen. And guess what? Something happens. Like. I, I, I fucking called it. Although nobody dies. Which I... I, I, I part of me was like, I want to see if they go there. <laughs> I was like... I was like... I, I'm like, I know it or not, but, I, but that would have been kind of fucking crazy. Um, well, I, honestly, like, like I said, the last sports movie, I think, to do something different was like Moneyball. That was it. Like... And... This follows every, like I said, every cliche. You could call it, like, oh, he's be making, getting an offer from another school. Is he gonna do it or is he not? No, of course he, spoiler alert, he doesn't. A fucking course he doesn't. It's a fucking sports movie. You know that, like, that, that cliche's been done to death. Um, it's, there's no suspense. <laughs> there's no suspense at all. Um, but again, this movie isn't bad. It's, it's like, it's, it's it's very good. It's very good, very well acted. It's it's funny. It has some funny moments in it. Uh, I, like, the characters are likable. Kevin Costner's likable. I do like this a lot better than I like, the, like something like Million Dollar Arm. Because, yeah, I kind of agree with the people that say Million Dollar Arm. They, they kind of made John Hammond more of a dick than it, he was kind of a really much of a prick than it, more of a prick than he ever needed to be even though he I, I like John Hamm a lot better than Kevin Costner uh, he it, Kevin Costner's more likable in this movie than John Hamm was in Million Dollar Arm um, yeah uh, go see McFarland USA it was a fun movie uh, and it's I think it's not getting very well or, uh, or it's not getting seen by a lot of people which is a shame just see it. Even if you're not like one of those people that don't like sports movies like I do, it's not a bad flick. It's, I've seen fucking worse this year. Um, as far as previews, I don't have my phone with me, but I remember the, the, off the top of my head. Um, I got three new ones. Uh, Ant-Man. That's the first time I've seen the trailer for Ant-Man. Um, I haven't watched it online. This is one of those... I'm. For the first time in all the Marvel movies, I'm like, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> like, even saying the words, you are Ant-Man, just sounds kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it does sound it, ridiculous. Um, and Paul Rudd's riding an ant. The fuck? Uh, no, alright. Uh, or a fly or something, I don't know. Um, I don't know. And 
it, it's it's a shame because you know you while watching this movie, this is what everybody's kind of like with uh, like one eye, like watching like yeah, this is the one where Edgar Wright was supposed to direct. And he was working on it for so fucking long, and it's such a shame because I like Anger Wright, and you know he would have had a big budget of movie for once, you know, a big movie like this, uh, and he got he quit like halfway or early into the production. Peyton Reed started um, joined in on the film, and Peyton Reed is not a bad director, but no, Anger Wright's a lot better. Um, I hope it's good. I, I like Paul Wright. I like Michael Douglas. Again, I've loved all the Marvel movies up to this point, so they haven't done me wrong yet. <laughs> so, between this... And the, this movie has the unenviable task of being coming out right after, like, two months after Avengers, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's a problem. Um, the, oh, fuck. <coughs> then I got Pan, the, the trailer for Pan. Who the fuck asked for uh, the origin stories of Peter Pan? Apparently somebody did, because we're getting it. Why? I, f- fucking Jesus Christ. So, Peter Pan, uh, he gets sent to ne- never- Neverland as a kid. Uh, by Blackbeard, played by Hugh Jackman. I thought that was fucking... I swear I thought he was Captain Hook. Because he looks like Captain Hook. He looks fucking ridiculous, too. What the fuck did they do with Hugh Jackman in that movie? He's playing Blackbeard. He's, I swear he could have just been fucking... You, you could have interchanged his name to fucking Captain Hook and been fine. And just put a hook on his hand. Um, there is a hook, but he's not Captain. He's prepared, played by Garrett Hedlund. Uh, and, oh yeah, fucking Tiger Lily's played by Re- Re- Rooney Mara. Yeah, that's been a controversy I've been hearing about. And that's fucking ridiculous. Can't get a native... You're telling me there's no Native American actress you can fucking find? Really? Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. I, who the fuck really wants that? It's like... It's it's like Oz the Great and Powerful. Who really wanted an origin story of Oz? Nobody. So, why the fuck are we getting one for Peter Pan now? God damn it. Um... And it doesn't look that good. And uh, the last one I got was Minions. And the new trailer for Minions. Um, I still laugh at the joke of BG before Gru. That still makes me chuckle every goddamn time. Uh, we got to see the, uh, this one. They had finally Sandra Bullock's character, uh, Scarlet, Ovic, or Scarlet Overkill. Easy for me to say. Uh, who the Minions uh, become Minions for. Uh... I, this is one of those movies that I'm sitting there like, it's going to be one of those that they might be overstaying their welcome to Minions. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping this movie works really well. Some of the jokes in the trailer, I was like, eh. But there's, there was a lot of jokes in there that made me laugh. And there was something there, eh. I'm sitting there like, oh boy, this might be one of those, like, this might be overkill for Minions. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping it's good. I, I, I have high expectations. I, I'm holding out hope for Minions. Uh, I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, yeah. So that's the, as far as new trailers I got. Um, I'm going to be getting off here. I'm going to probably go see uh, Still Alice uh, probably a little bit later here. And until then, I will see you guys later.